Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. So I'm to the point now where I can start reassembling this engine and I just completed installing the crankshaft assembly into the crankcase and initially I was a little concerned and I put the front housing on. Initially I was a little concerned, confused as to how I was going to go about doing that because when the engine came apart or when I took the front housing off when I was disassembling it this front part of the crankshaft came off with the engine and the two separated at that point. And for whatever reason, I had it in my mind that that was a way it could go back together. Thankfully, uh, Mike, the owner of this engine, sent me a link to an old RC Universe thread where a fellow was putting this thing together, and he happened to mention in, in his thread that when he uh, reinserted the crankshaft in here, uh, what he did was he put the crankshaft assembly itself in the freezer and froze it and then just heated the case up and inserted the whole thing in from this direction which is exactly what I did I just so happened to have a hole in my wood vise that fit this gear so I took this crankshaft assembly out of the freezer stuck that standing straight up in the vise and I had heated this thing up. I didn't. I didn't need to heat it up too much, 170 degrees or so. And then I just dropped it right on. It slipped right into place. So therefore, this engine is now uh, ready to be reassembled. Now I've got the new bearing here, the other new bearing here on the timing shaft. I'm going to liberally oil this area up real well. I'm going to show how this engine is timed. Um, I've got the camshaft here. It's been sitting in a bag of oil. Now this camshaft has a hole in it right here. Timing these four cylinder, twin cylinder, uh, boxer style engines is incredibly simple. It's not even funny how easy it is. Um, basically all you do is just drop this in there and you align it with a mark on this crankshaft. Now I had to clean off the crankshaft pretty heavily to find the mark because there's a dot there and it just so happens the dot lies on a tooth so what I did was just for ease for me and maybe you is I put a little bit of black sharpie on there so I don't have the cam followers in here I've got them cleaned up so they can just be dropped in uh, from the outside so I've got this thing set so that that timing dot is at the top dead center and you all you do is you just drop this thing in there and you line up the hole with the tooth that's got the dot on it, the timing dot. And right now the engine's timed. See how the dot coincides with the hole? Right now the engine's timed. That's all there is to it. That's as easy as it is to time this engine. Now it's just a matter of I'm going to go ahead and put the rear cover on, put the screws in, and then I can really begin to reassemble the rest of this engine. And there you have it. Now I know I didn't mention this before, but I think it's kind of noteworthy to mention. Is that this engine, I don't think I'm going to, is serial number 1114. Hopefully that'll show up there. Serial number 1114. So that's pretty cool. So, installed, ready to continue the assembly, or the reassembly. Now I just have to throw my screws in here. Okay, I'm going to begin installing the connecting rods. I'm going to do two connecting rods at a time so I can do two cylinders and then do the last two cylinders complete. But putting the connecting rods on is kind of one of those things that's kind of not so fun. Um, these are polarized, well I should say it I guess. These have dots on them that denote the proper orientation. So there's a dot here and a dot here so these have an orientation this way and then the dot was facing forward. So since this is going on like this I'm going to put this on here, flip it over, making sure I remember that my dot faces forward and drop it in place here. This is a little tough to do on camera. 
and there it's in place. Now what I should have done, is I should have already had one of these screws inserted onto my driver. And I'm just going to run it in slight most of the way, not all the way, so that I can snug them up together. There you have two connecting rods on. Now I can go ahead and finish the installation of these two cylinders. And in the process of uh, cleaning and stuff, those numbers came off the cylinder or the block here. So I end up putting it back on just so I keep things straight.
Okay, here it is. Ready to go. Where are you going, Chloe? Unfortunately, we've got a lot of rain in the forecast for the next few days, so it could be a few before I get a chance to try and run this baby. <laughs>